hi and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter resale channel. We're back at it today, shopping at a few different Goodwills to find items that I can sell online for profit. This was a nice first find of the day, a Viking swung glass vase. It is a smaller one and they only wanted $3.99 for it so of course I grabbed that. And I double checked these vases. I know some people in a prior video thought they might have been Bill Campbell, but they're not. I just wanted to double check to make sure I was right. And here I'm checking out a enameled teapot. I would have grabbed this with the cardinal theme that's pretty popular, but there was a crack in the handle. I spotted this Delft um, liquor bottle at the bottom. I haven't listed it yet. I did grab it. Here's some comps. Um, I need to figure out a way to drain the liquid out of it. Here's a fused glass plate. There was no signatures and I'm being more selective just trying to grab the Peggy car or um, a few other popular makers of that. As long as it's signed, I'll take a chance on it for the most part if the price is right. The main objective in my um, picking items to sell, generally I want to make $15 profit per item. Um, if I get it for five, I like to be able to list it for 25 um, and so on. I don't always stick to that. However, I try my hardest. This was a nice little trinket box. However, the tail was broken off of it. If you spot anything on the shelves that I'm missing that would bring in that $10 to $15 minimum profit, uh, drop it down in the comments below. I'll take a look at it. I put that Delft um, jar in the cart. That's something I had looked at in a previous video and I thought maybe I would look it up and see. Um, something about it though just seemed off. I did not grab it. Um, the profit's not there. I grabbed this butter dish. Unfortunately, in our travels, a corner got chipped, but at $1.99 um, with this cute um, hand painting cat on there, um, it is a French pottery piece. I grabbed it anyway. I was pretty happy to find this until I saw all the oxidation damage on the lid there. This is a George Briard um, Fire King casserole dish. Um, I would have grabbed that had that not had all that damage on it. They wanted $6.99 for it, which wasn't a bad price. Um, but as far as comps go, here's a few. They don't really sell for a ton of money unless it's more unusual and in really good condition. Here I'm checking out the wood aisle. Not much is catching my attention. And 
this was a really nice floor vase. However, they wanted $59.99 for it. And there's no way I was going to ship something that large. And here is a little tree that's made with different stones. Um, these can sell fairly well, however there was a bunch of damage. Um, you can't really see it in the footage there, but there was some stems missing. Here is an art glass face. No signatures. I like the colors on it, but I leave that behind. And this was a nice studio pottery piece. Sadly, I decided to leave it behind. That may have been a mistake, however, I have so many pieces of pottery in my um, store right now. I'm trying to be selective. The same goes for this. This is pretty interesting. But platters, trays, and items like that tend to sit for a long time. And as I've said before, space is limited, so you have to be choosy. I grabbed this to look at it and the same rule applied there it was nicely done there wasn't anything super super special about it and it wasn't part of a set so I leave that behind as well this had a nice celadon ish glaze on it, it was handmade I spotted this though and grabbed it. It was, uh, I believe, John Perry um, Blue Dolphin sculpture. It's still the tag, so I thought I'd get that. I paid a little too much for it, but I still grabbed it. And here was a milk glass um, vase. It was hand painted, and I grabbed that. I don't pick up a lot of milk glass, but the pieces that are hand painted, I generally grab those if it's worth it. And unfortunately, that. Art glass dolphin had a broken fin. It was amazing. They still wanted $14.99 for it. I had looked at it earlier. But with a broken fin, there's no way I would pick it up. I do, however, grab this Lady Stormer Lady Vase. It was only $4.99. Depending on how fast this sells, I may or may not pick up items like this again. Glass footed bowl. I grabbed this. Um, it has the crackled glass finish on there. Um, in a set they do well. I did not find any more of those coasters, so I end up putting that back. I'm just going over some shelves that I think I missed. And that was plastic, so I left that. And these were reproduction little bottles. They wanted only $1.99 a piece, but they sit for a fairly long time. I should have probably grabbed that um, glass piece with the chicken on it. It's probably a Blanco, but I'm not sure. I snagged this vase. It was only $6.99. I like the neutrals for a lot of home decor.
And there's not a whole lot in the glass section for vases. Just scanning the shelves and then I spot another pottery vase. It's artist signed and I like the glaze on this. And it was only $6.99. It was nicely done so I put that in the cart. I'm probably not going to get a whole lot for that item but I believe it'll sell fast. And here's an art glass bird. It's hand blown. The sticker's faded so I couldn't make out the maker on it. It did say like the beginnings of Murano on it. Um, for $3.99 I thought I'd take a shot and I did end up listing that. Checking out some stuff on the shelf. It's a little zoomed in, so I apologize. Here I found another pottery piece. And this one has a clear signature for Steve Schroeder. I grabbed that. And I found this wonderful little platter. This is an exception to my platter rule because it's in a beautiful glaze. Um, and I think I can get about 59 to 79 for it and it was only 6.99. I believe those were Fiesta, but it, the cups were nowhere in sight, so I left those behind. I'm on the hunt for this pattern. I would like to replace our current plain white corral with that pattern. And I spotted a few pieces, so I'll put those in the cart. And here I'm checking out their front section. They tend to price things pretty high at this Goodwill when they're on these shelves. I thought those were pretty nice. I don't have a big enough, grand enough house for something like that. And then this was a nice crystalline glaze. I thought this might be Bill Campbell or a maker of that sort and they wanted a pretty hefty price. They've actually brought it down. It used to be $59.99, now it's $39.99, but the signatures doesn't match up and it says made in China. This however is an amazing pottery piece. I grabbed that for $8.99. And I also grabbed this. It's a pie plate or a dessert bowl of some sort. It is handmade and signed as well. And then I found this art glass bowl. This is going to be wrapping up our trip here and it's already sold. It was only $4.99 and it sold for $44.97 pretty much the same day I listed it. That's going to wrap us up here. You're going to be brought into the recap. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week.